y'all welcome back to my channel so i am back with a unboxing video i am super excited i invested in a new uh, laptop for myself so this is actually a chromebook my first time working with a chromebook i'm super excited about it um my old laptop that i have i've had since about 2013 starting to give out on me um i have a fully functioning desktop that i use but I really want to get myself accustomed to using a Chromebook and the operating system and to see how I like it. And this is a early Christmas present to myself. So this was actually on a cyber deal through Walmart. I'm looking at the information right now. I did go and get it in store. And um, how it played out is I went into the store and I saw that they had some on display. I took my phone and I did scan it through the Walmart app. The app is showing it for $215. Um, when you go into the store, however, it's listed at $239. So um, I went up to uh, the lady in the electronic section. Um, she went in the back, made sure they had it for me. Um, she scanned it on her phone and I just asked her, hey, can you verify the price? I wasn't necessarily asking for a price match, but she did go ahead and match the price for me since they are showing it as $215 on the website. Um, and then store is $229. So I did save about $15 on this deal. Um, let's see if I can actually find my receipt. Because with taxes and everything, at least for me, um, it did come out to be obviously a little bit more than the $215. But let me just double check here, y'all. Okay, so again, $215. Um, 7% sales tax for North Carolina, um, brought my total up to $230.05. So that is what I paid for this Asus Chromebook. So I am going to get into a little bit of the details right now and then we'll open it up. So this is the Asus CX1500 Chromebook. Um, it is like a full size laptop as far as the size of it. So it has a 15.6 inch full HD display has the Intel Celeron N3350, uh, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of EMMC. Um, it is in mineral gray. So I'm actually gonna look up some cases online and I may display some photos of them or I may insert a clip thinking about getting a case on Amazon. And if I do, I'll insert the clip here because I'm sure I'll get that before I actually post this video. Um, Chrome operating system, of course. So and it is on CyberDeal and it's still on the actual website for Walmart. So I will have the link posted down below. I'm gonna try and post this video as soon as possible so that the deal is still up that y'all can get it if you're interested in it. So uh, I'm so excited y'all. Okay, because I'm gonna show y'all the box without showing too much information. So, Aces. Whoa, all right. Let's see if we can get this thing open up here. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm so excited about this, y'all. Just to be able to have something to, to use on the go. Let's see if we can get it open up. Okay. One more table. One second. Okay, so we'll turn it, I don't want to show too many serial numbers or anything, so we will turn it this way. Okay, in search of incredible, so that's what you get when you first open it up, looks like this, and here it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and actually lift it up out of here. Gosh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. We'll get into the weight of it, of course, but it honestly feels like my full-size laptop with the weight. So we will get into that and all the stuff that you receive in it. So you get your ACES information to register it online. So I'm not going to necessarily show that on camera, but it says register and receive one year of complimentary accidental damage protection so that when accidents happen we have you covered so i can register for that it's an extended 90-day warranty 
and then you get your user guide and then a quick start guide and then the warranty card so all that good stuff right there i'm actually gonna put that oh well i'll leave it out yeah i might do that stuff tonight so still got some stuff in here so we're just gonna get are they all empty boxes let's see can't all be empty because the charger's got to be in there right there we go there it is so here is the charger i'll give you a close close up of that in just a moment let's see making sure i'm not missing anything i think that's everything inside the box all right we'll put that down scooch up some I need to make a plug available to myself to plug this in. So here is the charger. That is what that looks like. And USB-C for the charger. So that is very important. And I'll go over with you all the ports that the computer has as well. I just wanna go ahead and get this untangled and get it ready to plug in. So. I think I'm going to actually pick up the quick start and we'll just look at this for a second together. So, okay. So it says that they suggest to charge it for three hours when using it for the first time. So we are going to go ahead and charge it. I'm still going to open it up and show it to you all, but I do want to put it on the charger as well. So let's go ahead and take it out of the sleeve. Oh, looks so nice. Here it is, Asus Chromebook. That is what it looks like. So. If we are doing a size comparison, because I do have my laptop right here, my Acer. Oh, the Acer is heavier. Even though this is this is still pretty heavy, the Acer is heavier. So, just for reference, this is the Asus A S U S Chromebook, and then this is my full size Acer A C E R laptop. So, a size comparison yeah so it's a lot thinner obviously this one is thick it's a full-size you know computer not a chromebook um my old laptop has like all the original ports on it this is another reason why i don't quite want to get rid of it you know um i just want to keep it as long as i can because it has i think this is a what is it vga if i'm not mistaken and it has an ethernet Y'all know nowadays you cannot get a laptop with an Ethernet cord anymore or Ethernet port. Um, it has one USB, -C, one USB. Um, it has a microphone jack and a headphone jack on this one, my old laptop. This is where you put in the charger. It still has a CD or disc ROM drive, a disc drive, which is very rare again. Matter of fact, I don't even think they put this on laptops anymore either. And then it has two USBs on here. And then there is also a SD card slot. Is this it? I think this is it over here, the SD card slot. So, I mean, this right here is my baby. It really got me through a lot of stuff. I mean, I did everything on this laptop. This is what I started YouTube on. I mean, it's a big deal for me. My mom got this for me in 2013 as a Christmas gift because my computers had had it. It was my last year of college and it was a struggle. I couldn't afford one myself. And my mom went to um, a local like furniture type store that we have back in my hometown and she did like a line of credit so she could get this for me. And I was just so appreciative because it's, I really needed it at the time and I could not afford another computer. And I mean, this thing definitely has sentimental value, of course. And just, I mean, they just don't make them like this no more. They really don't. And it still has to where you can take the battery out of the back of it if you need to. Like this is my baby. But I do know that I need to evolve a little bit and I need something that runs a little bit smoother for me. And then I just wanna move into the Chromebook world and see what it's about. 
because y'all have jumped into it and I want to jump into it too. So, the Aces Chromebook. Let's get into the ports that it has. So, on one side, I am seeing a USB-C and then I see the, the regular USB right here. Um, no disk drive, of course. And then on this other end, there's another USB. There is a headphone jack. We still got the headphone jack. There is a, a SD memory card slot right there. Very important if you're a content creator. And then there's another USB-C. This is where you actually plug the charger into. So let's actually go ahead and open it up. Open up. Okay. So when you first open up, they do have like a little screen um dust thing here and here is what it's looking like the keyboard so my only thing about this is um the numerical keypad is not on the right side of the keyboard like i'm used to any computer that i've ever used even here with my hp desktop you know you have that keypad over here the numerical keypad this is a wireless um keyboard for this computer which i love by the way but I'm so used to that, and even with my work computer, so used to having that keypad over there that I'm like, oh my gosh, but a lot of the computers nowadays, they don't have the keypad on the right side. It's just at the top, you have your numbers. And if I'm not mistaken, MacBook is like that as well. So something I got to get used to, I know on my vision board in, gosh, 2019, I said that I wanted to get into learning different operating systems. I really want to get into the Mac operating system and learn that because right now, I'm just, I would call myself maybe an expert level at Windows, possibly intermediate uh, expert, whatever. But I want to learn Chrome. I want to learn Linux. I want to learn a lot of different things. So I need to get out there and do it. You know, self-education is the key. Got to teach it to myself because I'm not doing any more student loans. So um, keypad is not over there. It's not a big deal. Um, there is a power button right here. Um, it says that it has 180 degree. Let me just look that up and just make sure I'm not saying anything wrong here at the specs. So I believe the screen can bend back. I don't really need that. Yeah, 180 degree hinge can be laid flat to share content easily with friends and colleagues. I don't really need that. It says that it's lightweight. It's 3.97 pounds, but it feels heavier than that. Um built for on the go lifestyle with up to 11 hours of battery life depending on working conditions uh let's see the screen has inside glare okay i pretty much went over everything and it just says here in the description chromebook runs on chrome operating system and has the google apps you can edit download and convert Microsoft Office files and Google Docs sheets and slides. So, Chrome, Chromebooks come with built-in storage for offline access to your most important files. Love that. Now, my next thing, because I was doing a little bit of research and I know that some of the Chromebooks you can actually download Microsoft Office 365 on there. And I'm wondering if this is one of the ones that can do that. I'm not seeing it on here. It does have a webcam, of course. Not seeing it on there, friends. But it's all good because obviously I still have my desktop. I'm not too pressed about that. Main thing is I like, I'd like to have something on the go, you know. Or even if I'm just moving around the house, I don't always want to have to come back to my desk to do stuff. So that's very important. Also, with Google Chrome... Everything is kind of intertwined in with the Google Apps. So if you've got all those Google Apps on your phone and everything is in the cloud, then you can still access it from the computer, right? Just thinking out loud. Y'all are probably like, yeah, duh. But again, we're learning new things. So um, I'm so excited about this, y'all. Let's go ahead and actually plug it in and try and turn it on. We are going to turn this thing on. So I like to take this little plastic off of the battery because you never know if these things get warm and I don't in particular want to leave the plastic on there myself so we'll go ahead and take that off and plug it up give me a second 
So I have it plugged into the charger now. I am actually gonna go ahead and power it on. And we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna come on. So all I did was just a press and release of the power button. I don't know if you actually have to hold it down. So maybe I should look. It came on, it came on. I'm tripping, it came on. Chrome. Okay. I'm excited, y'all. Okay. This is welcome. Here is the welcome screen. Y'all can see that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let's go. All right, so it's asking for my Wi-Fi information. Y'all can see all of that now. All right. Okay. So far, so good. Just going over some terms of service. All right. Determining device configuration. All right, so far, so good. All right, so this first screen is asking who's using this Chromebook. It says you can always add more people after setup. Each person can personalize their account and keep data private. So it says either set up this uh, device for work or personal for you or for a child. It's for me, of course. All right. So, I'm debating because now it wants me to sign into my Chromebook and it's going based off of your Gmail. So, I have several Gmail accounts, obviously. I have personal and then I have YouTube and then I have two for YouTube. So, I'm just thinking here which one of my accounts is everything more intertwined with. So, that's going to be the kicker. I wonder, can you sign in multiple accounts? Y'all know what I'm saying? Right, so, okay. I need to verify some password information. I'll be right back with So, you. actually, my virus protection cannot be downloaded on Chromebook or Kindle devices. So, I'm guessing it already has some type of built-in protection. Because I remember reading somewhere where it says like no viruses, like these can't get viruses for whatever reason. I don't know how they can't, but we will go with it and I will do a little bit more research and see what is up with that. But yeah, that's what it says there that my Norton cannot be uh, downloaded on this particular device. So I wonder if I need something else for it, but I will look into that. Alrighty y'all, so so far so good. Um, I was able to get signed into my Google account. So far, so good. So I'm really excited to really get into this. Comment down below if you would like a thorough review video of it. I'm not a super techie person, but we'll get there. You know, I may be able to explain the terms a little bit better once I get to working with it and playing with it. And yeah, I'm really excited. So um, if you are in the market for a Chromebook this season, um, definitely check out Walmart for some of their prices. I think they're pretty good deals on Chromebooks. And then um, as far as any additional deals, I know Best Buy may have some deals as well. It's just a season for the deals. And if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but you still want to have access to the web and you just are old fashioned like me, like having something like this. I know that people have iPads and all that good stuff. I have an older iPad as well, but it's nothing like being able to type like that is my jam i love being able to type on a keyboard and get stuff done i'm um, having access to my emails on the go is a big thing for me especially with youtube and different things so um, i'm really excited about it so thank y'all so much for watching my video um i thank you for all the support on my channel and means the world to me and i will talk to you again in my next one bye